The riverside area of Cais do Sudre in Lisbon has a story to tell around every corner. Once synonymous with the lives of sailors, fishermen, intellectuals, artists and prostitutes who filled the drinking and boarding houses, it has recently undergone a transformation from city to must-see. As night descends over Nova do Carvalho Street, the buzz of hip crowds drinking and eating matches the illumination of old townhouses by ambient neon lights. Many old establishments here have been closed, some for up to 20 years. Among them Sol e Pesca. Once at Fisherman's Supply Shop, it now caters to a rather different clientele. In the afternoons and evenings, people flock here to sample some of Portugal's most famous tint conserves, colorfully displayed behind a glass cabinet. With a choice of around 80 tin seafood specialities, you can opt to spend between 1 euro 40 and a staggering 36 euros to wash down with beer or wine. The commercial dealings of fishermen here nowadays seems a distant memory. The space has instead been retaken by young revelers who have a newfound appreciation for the area's quirky originality. The playful display of lights draws attention to the party next door, at number 38 of the same street. Conveniently named the Guest House of Love, this old building used to serve as a boarding house for whiskey-swinging sailors and prostitutes. Reborn with a new space and a fresh concept, it is one of the top places to see and be seen in the Portuguese capital. The entrance greets visitors with raunchy graffiti murals, replicated from old posters that once advertised burlesque shows. The rustic feel to the interior is genuine. Creatives behind the concept left the building virtually untouched. We call it in Portuguese pensão. And, and used to be, pensão used to be more like uh, prostitute uh, houses. So we keep the name, pensão, Pensão Amor, to, to keep the concept. My big boss, he wanted to keep the, all the concept of the houses. This is why you can see all around, the, these are new paint, paintings, but they were made thinking about of the history of the building. Inside, the rooms of the old guest house have been transformed into a lounge where you can sit back and enjoy a drink, a quirky bar and a bookshop selling erotic literature. All furniture and decor have been recovered and reused from bars that used to grace the area of Cais do Sodre, helping the venue to maintain an original feel. Outside, the party continues with revelers packing O Povo. Once a club, today it's an unpretentious tapas bar and a popular meeting place for a few drinks and performances. At Velha Senhora next door, you can party like it's early 20th century Lisbon all over again. Here, tapas and cocktails with risque names get the crowd in the mood for cabaret, erotic poetry recitals and pianists bashing out songs, just as they did in the good old days. I think it's a great place. Uh, it's, uh, you can uh, mix uh, the architectural um, and also the... the um, the style lifestyle. Estou a gostar bastante porque acho que de alguma forma dá uma nova vida e uma nova, um novo conceito, não é? É muito mais descontraído e também de alguma forma democratizou-se mais esta área no sentido de que várias pessoas podem frequentar e não é sempre na mesma, digamos assim, onda. What was once one of Lisbon's seediest neighborhoods now attracts those looking for edginess and decadence for entirely different reasons.